Hey YouTube, it's your girl, Honey's Child, and I'm coming to you guys to tell you um, I'm no longer in my protective style. This video is going to be very quick and very brief. I just want to kind of uh, let you all know um, what happened to me. I had an allergic reaction to the hair that was used to braid my hair. Um, my forehead swole, my hair and my scalp was itching like crazy. Um, I left them in for five days. I left them in from Monday through Friday. And I had to take it out immediately. Um, I had some help with the um, taking the braids out. And once the braids were out, I shampooed and I conditioned my hair. Now, the thing that happened next, I was not expecting. I lost a lot of hair. I believe that the hair that I used, um, it was too coarse for my hair, or it could have been treated with chemicals. I'm not certain. However, I end up losing a lot of hair. It may not look like it um, at this moment, but I'm going to try and briefly just turn around so I can show you guys the back of my hair. All in here. I don't know if you can see. Okay, so I was freaking out. I was losing my mind. Now, hair used to not be of that much importance to me because I loved wearing my hair short so if my hair started to ever shed excessively or look like it was breaking which I didn't really have problems with that it wouldn't have been a problem for me to go ahead and cut it this was so unexpected because like I said the only thing that I did was use a protective style it baffled me. It frustrated me. It left me feeling very sad. Um, and then I started talking to my mom, talking to my husband, because I lost some inches right in the middle of my hair. It just totally came out. Um, and after talking it over with them and um, kind of pondering and, and just trying to be mindful that there are a lot of things that are more important than my hair um i just went ahead and i put a shape into the back of my hair now the shape that i put into the back of my hair is like a swing bob now i didn't have to cut a lot because like i said the entire center of my hair straight down the middle came out and it was shedding and shedding and shedding and then shedding excessively so, real quick, what I did, I did the Alpha G protein treatment. I did three protein treatments. I did the first 15 minutes. I waited, and then I applied in, a, in another 15 minutes, and I let that stay on, and then I applied the last 15 minutes. Now, I also apl applied a moisturizing conditioner, which, mean that, which means that I used... Um, a little um, whatever I had in my cabinet at home because I hadn't got to the salon yet so I had to just kind of mix some stuff together and I did have coconut oil I did have olive oil and so I put that in with the conditioner and I let it stay on overnight I end up going to Sally's um, because my professional beauty beauty vendors were closed and so all this happened like this week. So I made it to Sally's. I got some argon oil and I also got some of their argon conditioning cream. And I put that on and I slept in it for 24 hours. So when I got up this morning, I rinsed my hair out and I diffused my hair. Um, the shedding did stop. I still have like you know, just a few strands, but I don't have anything like I had before. I had clumps of hair coming out. So this is just a message for all of you out there that are considering uh, protective styles and adding any type of synthetic hair. 
be careful. It could be treated chemically. It could have an adverse reaction on your hair. It could cause hair loss. Um, and that's just from my experience. My hair is really um, medium fine and it's more of a, a wavy texture. Um, and so my hair really to begin with probably was too fine for me to even try to add the hair in. But again, I'm not a weave wig or braid person, so this was something that I wanted to try. And the only way that you learn is through trial and error. So um, I just wanted to sing my blues to you guys and let you know that I've decided that I'm not going to worry so much about... Um, how much my hair grows or how much length um, I can achieve in this month or that month um, because setbacks can come and this was a great lesson for me. I just kind of want to go with the flow. And so if, if it's anybody out there that may be um, getting to the point that they may be becoming a little obsessed with your hair, just remember to nurture and to love your hair but not to obsess about it because you're going to get what you're supposed to have, and it's going to be how it should be. And at the end, as long as you're natural, as long as you're feeling healthy, as long as you're feeling good, that's all that matters. So I just wanted to give you guys um, this information as to what happened to me, um, and hopefully you can use it. And if it's um, something that could keep somebody else from experiencing what I experienced, then I'm more... I'm all the happier about it. Um, so, yeah, you guys, I think I'm just going to go ahead from this point on and start having fun with my hair and getting back to using my professional products and um, getting on the regimen. That's one thing that I probably will come back with a video because I am going to start doing a consistent regimen so okay you guys i don't want to ramble on i just wanted to touch bases with you i hope all of you all are experiencing a wonderful evening and a wonderful weekend and if you have any questions or any comments please feel free to leave them for me and as always stay natural remain free and remain beautiful ciao